Hello everybody and welcome back to War Thunder. Today we are flying the Heinkel 112B-0 in a realistic battle. This is my third realistic battle. The first one ended in abysmal failure. The second one ended in a partial abysmal failure. I killed something but I also died horribly at the same time. So, you know, not exactly what one would call a sterling victory. So what we're going to do now is pounce down on this hurricane that is um, rather cruelly picking on our teammate, quite unsporting really. So we're going to go down and try and uh, intercept before um, our... Oh. Yes, he's on fire, isn't he? Yes, he is dead. He is definitely, definitely dead. Right, okay. Avenge. Right, in range. Fire. Okay, yep. Okay, let's pull up. Pull up. Bugger! Hey. Right, let's try that again. Come on, Fritz, do your worst. Right. Yes. Yes. No! Right, third time's the charm. We can do it. It's only a P-47. Small fry. I think. Nope, we lost the wing. That didn't go well. Okay. Ah, uh, the engine's gone. That's what happens when you pull negative Gs, and I've lost both my wings. Help! Help! No, no. Oh, you son of a... Okay, night fighting. They will never see me here. Oh my god, they've got laser beams. What? What is that? What is that? Oh, um, me. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm finally getting the hang of this now. Okay, here we go. Open fire. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Ah, he's burning in the sky. Take that, Fritz. Look. Look at that. Yes, that was all me. Yes, there we go. Aircraft destroyed. And let's... Do it a second time. Fire. Excellent, we got a hit, but that wasn't much else, and oh my goodness, what was that? Okay, no. Oh, we're losing coolants and fluids. Stuff it, we're buggered anyway. Let's try and take down this guy. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, good lord. Stay in one spot. Did we get a hit? No, we didn't. Oh my word, more tracer fire. Okay, evasive. Oh, there's another guy right here. Let's take him out. No, don't hit the ally. Okay, that's good. That's fine. Okay, where is the guy? Oh, my wing just came off. Fantastic. Right. Until further notice, I've banned myself from flying a Spitfire, as um, it is not good to head on your opponent in such a fragile, little, dainty aircraft, apparently. So, until I've learned my lesson, no touchy the Spitfire. Instead, we should be flying the Hurricane Mark II, hopefully successfully. And after a thrilling climb to 14,000 feet, I begin surveying the battlefield for my first target. Now, there's a couple of other enemy aircraft at our altitude, but at the same time, I am keeping an eye on what's going on below me. Should any of my teammates get into a bit of strife and require some very, very quick assistance. At the moment, I'm debating between chasing down the um, the C202 down there, it just, it just dropped to 4.7 kilometers away, or whether or not I'm going to go for that bomber that's still setting up high. In hindsight, I probably should have gone for the bomber, because he does give us a bit of strife later on in the match, um, but I decided not to. I, I decided that basically he can be a problem to be dealt with later, a bit stupidly, considering it ends up raining fiery death upon a lot of our bases, and I decided instead it might be a better idea to take out the um, the enemy that are further down at a lower altitude and uh, can be pounced on a bit more easier. Now I decided to go for the BF-109 here. He's the only one that currently, I, in my opinion, views the greatest threat and he is currently engaged as well, so he's currently distracted. But he has started to leg it, so I dive quickly in the hope of being able to catch him in time that I can engage him at range. Close range, I should say. Um, I believe for this match I had set my weapon convergence at 400 meters, which of course means that is not the distance I fired at him at all. Exactly, I did it at, you know, 700 meters, because why not? And I missed every single shot. So, first takeaway from this video is I need to really work on my aim in a realistic battle because it is very different from Arcade. Arcade is still a lot of fun, but Realistic Battle is a completely different kettle of fish. Completely different. 
Now this time, I'm deciding to head on a C at 202. Now that was fine because he peeled away, but considering my previous history of head-on attacks, I probably shouldn't have done that. And I swing through the blackout and uh, pursue him. And he actually gets distracted by firing upon the, um, the Spitfire, so it allows me to get right on his tail. And even though I have the, um, the battle skill of a tranquilized walrus, I was actually able to take him down. Unfortunately, I did waste a lot of ammunition firing at him as he was going down, because I didn't know whether or not he was going to pull up or not. Turns out he didn't, and that was a plane diving on me. Now, we should probably take another look at that. Let's pause and have a look, shall we? And look at that. I was literally inches from death. I mean, that was uh, quite lucky on my part, actually. And that uh, is another good example of why you need to be very spatially aware. I probably should have been keeping a closer eye on the radar, where I would have would have seen the, um, the red dot zooming in upon my position with, with furious intention, but I didn't. Luckily, he was carrying so much speed, it would have been impossible for him to pull around and engage me directly, so I basically decided to get some more altitude, get myself away from immediate danger, and resurvey the situation. And as you can see, not much is actually going on. We've got um, a couple of players down below that are chasing away that uh, BF-109, and um, my actual aim at the moment is to get to some more altitude in case he decides to swing around, and would you look at it, he's doing that right now. And this is where I make the uh, decision to um, attempt attempt to engage. I use the um, I use the word attempt loosely because usually my attempts at things don't tend to usually go too well and um, for a moment I thought he was going to try and head on me but he didn't and um, I was actually able to land a hit on him despite my um, <clears throat> poor accuracy anyway and the problem is now I, I attempt to give chase um, but very quickly realized that the um, the 109 F is, uh, is, is faster than me in a straight line most definitely faster than me and as you can see, um, I'm venting my frustration by expending ammunition in his general direction and um, and wasting it. Um, at this point in the match, I had forgotten that ammunition was finite, and so I hadn't realized I'd burned it down to just, just over 500 rounds of ammunition left. And this comes back to bite me very quickly, um, as you can probably well imagine. Because, yeah, at this point, I've kind of not been paying attention to the ammunition. I was at the beginning of the match, and then I sort of forgot about it, which, you know bit of a newbie mistake but I think this is match number number 10 technically for me for realistic I think at this point I think it was match number 10 um, I'll go back and check but it's either match number 10 or number 11 so I'm still very very new to the whole thing um, and it's kind of it was kind of difficult for me to get used to it seeing as I died you know 9 out of 10 of those matches anyway as you saw at the beginning of this video um, I died poorly and with um, very little grace and he's right buggered off now, that BF-109, he's right off in the distance, three kilometers away. And then he decides to turn around and engage. I think it's at this point he's got no choice because he's being absolutely surrounded by my teammates. So um, at this point he presents himself as an excellent target. I'm like, right, this will be my second kill of the match. I'm going in, I'm opening fire, I'm getting some hits, and then I'm out of ammunition. And what I should have done is waited and opened fire at the point that I was at when I actually ran out of ammunition because that's when my gun convergence was set. Once again, I was jumping the trigger too much. And now we need to return to the base and reload, which is obviously going to cost us time. Uh, the match is still running, of course. Um, but yes, what probably wasn't the, uh, the, the best, best decision I've made in terms of how to use ammo and when. So anyway, let's uh, let's fast forward this now and get to the um, the refitting of the plane, shall we? And here we are, coming into landing and um, avoiding our allies as they are taking off to re-enter the fray. Throttling right down and just going for a, a gentle, gentle touchdown along the edge of the runway. Look at that! I landed with the air and grace of a swan. And we're just slowing down now, and we've tipped over. Another happy landing, hey? Ah, well, it could have been worse. I could have crashed. At least I made it down in relatively one piece anyway. Right, let's reload and get back into it. And here we are, back at altitude. 
and uh, some new mission targets are about to appear in the form of um, soft and easy to destroy ground forces, which is um, just my cup of tea actually. I found myself to be quite um, a proficient ground attack player. I think um, I'm actually going to explore a lot more of ground attack aircraft actually moving forward. It is it is a lot of fun. Dogfighting is fun as well, of course, but um, I don't know, there's just something I like about ground attack targets and um, you know bombers and things like that, so it's going to be something I'm definitely going to um, look at in the future um, and definitely do um, you know quite a few videos on that as well okay and here we are making our uh, run at the ground target and that BF-109 has just reared his head again after um, buggering off before to rearm himself uh, now the question is if he's gonna go for me or if he's gonna go for the P-40 that's making a run for the other ground units um, I suspect he's probably gonna go for the P-40 seeing as the, uh, the P-40 is uh, a higher threat He's got far more kills than me this match so far, and yeah, see, he has gone for him. There he goes. They're they're tussling here, and I um I decide to go over and lend a hand, but um he's actually diving away, and um yeah, he he decides that I am in fact a, a better target, and so I I I put the hammer down, um keep an eye on him, and I'm going to make a, a run for these ground targets and hopefully take out some of those. I've actually at this point almost resigned myself to death. Um, because this, uh, this particular pilot's already got quite a few kills this match, so I'm, my, my main aim now is just to try and help my teammates and take out as many of these, uh, these ground targets as possible. So I'm pulling it right down, gonna take it to the deck, pull up some speed, get a nice shallow attack angle on these vehicles, and miss. Kind of. There we go. That's two destroyed. I'm just keeping an eye out for that plane. Oh, he is uh, he is close, but I think he's actually pulled off his um his pursuit, from what I can see anyway. Oh wait, no, maybe he hasn't. Alrighty. At this point, I decide to throw caution to the wind, bank round, and try and engage him. Um, it it goes all right actually. Um, I I get a couple of hits on him. I dive out the way. Um, mainly just so I can line myself up for another run on these vehicles and just take out more of them. At this point, this is the most important part. If we can take out these soft targets, it will take the um, the ticket down, the ticket counter down all the way. Um, when these units spawned, both teams were at equal ticket points, um, so it's kind of become a mad rush for us to destroy these vehicles. Um, the fighter is trying to intercept us whilst their bomber is trying to make a final set of runs to knock down our ticket points that way. Because they're down to, I think, two or three aircraft at one point. One of them's up at high altitude. One's the fighter, and I think one is another fighter as well. And that's my ally there just shooting, um, shooting some trucks for me. And there we go. That's those units down. So at this point... I look, on, look around the map and just see uh, see where the other ground targets are, because there are still a couple of them kicking around there. And yeah, there's uh, there's not not much of our team left, but there's definitely less of the enemy team left. So I decide to head over, um, and the bomber has come down to low altitude. Um, so I don't know whether or not he just taken off from his airfield, or whether or not he was coming down to. Um, to reload, but we decide um, that he is quite a, a juicy target at this point, and that P-40 um, is going off in a big way. Um, he does basically ruin his engine doing this, and in fact he's already gone to the airfield twice before to repair his engines, but he's done a good job in the match. Um, and he takes down that bomber, so um, I'm pretty confident in his ability to shoot it down himself, so I'm basically making a beeline for those other ground units. And it's essentially a race to see who who does what first. Does he kill the bomber before I get the ground units, or vice versa? And uh, we're about to get the answer to that question here, because he's um, engaging the um, the bomber now, well within firing range, and any second now he will um, take out the bomber. There we go. And that was the. Um, that was the final aircraft on the team. Uh, that BF-109 was taken down just before as well. And um, that is the match one. And I survived. I didn't die, mainly because I actually learned how to fly somewhat defensively and aim 
slightly better than I have before. I was able to hit some things after a couple of attempts, and I even made, you know, third place on the team, which wasn't too bad, you know. Um, not bad at all. So I'll have a quick look at the scores. So I believe I got one aircraft kill um, and four land units destroyed, and we got some um, excellent RP as well which will be um, unlocking the next hurricane, which is what we're working towards. So we've um, unlocked the first little bit there for the fuselage repair. We'll work on the radiator. And um, I think then what we'll probably have a look at is uh, work on the weapons as well. But yeah, there we go. Uh, first successful co completion of a realistic battle um, that didn't go completely horribly wrong. Um, I hope you all enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching.